I'm in St. Peter's Port here in Guernsey and today I'm going to be trying to figure out how to navigate myself around this place and get familiar before we start covering the island games. Also, maybe chuck in a few fun facts along the way like, did you know that Guernsey is 24 square miles um, and but also has a population of 62,000 so just a little bit more than the Falklands. But um, anyways, we're gonna go have fun, try and get into town, see what's going on, and uh, yeah, let's go. So we've just been walking around Guernsey and we've bumped into Tim, obviously he used to compete for us. Uh, was it 2019 Island Games? Yeah, uh, in Gibraltar. The 5,000 metres and the 10,000 and the half marathon, yeah, that's right. I see you've got something different on your shirt now. Oh yeah, so I'm not competing this time, I'm back in Orkney and um, I'm here with the organising committee for 2025, so, well I used to work at IGS, so I'm doing the education outreach in Orkney in two years time to get all the young people involved and schools as involved as possible. So, so you've, hang, you, you've hung up your shoes now? No, not at all. I'll definitely be competing in two years time. Um, but. Oh, it's been nice bumping into you guys this morning and it be nice to see lots more of you guys around. So for all you literary fans, this guy might look quite familiar to you. This is Victor Hugo, otherwise known as the author of uh, Les Mis and the Hunchback of Notre Dame. He lived in Guernsey for a few years, I think he was 15. Do you have anything to say, Victor? No, I think, I think he might be a little bit camera shy, but I'm sure he's really excited for the games the same way we are. The rain's coming down a bit, but the fun's still going on. What do you think? Do you think I can get some, some good speed on this? Yeah, I reckon it's a PB. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, it's got high speed on the back here. If you come around, you know, I mean, why would they put high speed? It's not high speed. That's false, that's false advertising. So, yeah. Look forward to racing and uh, hopefully get myself in there. Walking around Guernsey, we managed to bump into the Isle of Man football team who play us on Sunday. I'm here with Matt Woods, who is the midfielder and the captain of the team. How's it going, Matt? Yeah, really good, mate. Good to be here. Saw your team training yesterday and look like there's a few decent players in there, so we can't uh, rest on our laurels and we've got to go and give it everything against you. Yeah. Right, well, best of luck to all those games except the one against us. I hope, yeah, I hope you drop a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you drop a stinker, but for the other ones, I wish yeah, you nothing yeah. but the best. Hope you guys go on. The rain's getting pretty bad outside, so we came inside to look at the Island Games cultural program. We have some fantastic art on display from all the islands involved in this year's competition. Um, some look great from here, so uh, let's go on inside and get a better look. We're here with Jade, uh, part of the Island Games cultural program, looking at some fantastic art from all of the islands. Um, competing at this year's Island Games. Jade, give us a little bit of background info, what's going on here? Um, well, Guernsey Arts, we're really keen to bring the islands together through creativity um, and culture. So it's, it goes hand in hand with the sport um, and we've created this fantastic, part of it is this exhibition with some fantastic pieces to see. So we've been working with different organisations in different islands. Uh, in the Falklands, it's been fantastic Tasman from the Falklands museum um, and she's been really helpful in spreading what we were trying to do across um, the people in the island um, and we've done that across all the islands really just trying to really connect as much as possible. A common misconception about Guernsey is that it is a part of the UK whereas actually it's not it's its own independent state and it's closer to France than England um, so if you ever look at a map of Guernsey and look at the town names you'll see a lot of French influence a lot of French words and um, speaking of distances we're waiting outside the ferry port um, for the arrival of the very first basketball team to represent the Falkland Islands at these island games so history makers and uh, yeah hopefully we'll grab a chat and um, yeah let's go take a look and uh, wait for them to come Yeah, the basketball team have just got here. They ran into the bus and must be scared of us, but are we excited to be in Guernsey, guys? Yeah! Yeah, no worries. First game tomorrow, no? Yeah, big, big, big game. Yeah, good luck, though, yeah? I'll let you guys get on, all right? Take it easy.
Well, I've had a busy day walking around Guernsey and I've treated myself to this ice cream made from traditional Guernsey milk. Um, I'm gonna relax, kick back, take in the view of this beautiful place um, before the big opening ceremony and uh, yeah, hope to catch you there. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming along with me.